The thumbnail I created is Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast, everybody and their mom knows who Mr. Beast is, so I don't need to explain who this person is, that his whole YouTube premise is to give money away and do it for clicks, whatever. He's just a good dude. I mean, and he put out a video saying, I'm going to cure a thousand people's blindness. And it already has 50 million views. So here's a little clip of what, what that video looks like. We're curing a thousand people's blindness. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Most of us see the world like this. But here's the thing, 200 million people see the world like this. But I just made it one less. Oh. Now it's cataract surgery. Wow. So they're not like born blind. She's just one of a thousand blind people we help from around the world. They can't see, but we have all the technology to fix it. Yep, half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, now of course, now of course, you can't just go on celebrating this man doing great things. The modern leftist has to come up and speak up and utter their their naked head and let everyone know why curing blindness is actually a bad thing. Uh, because it's always about the system with these people. People honestly praise Mr. Beast yet again, said the serfs. This guy does poverty tourism for cash. If he pays a person medical bills, lottery style, with <laughs> lottery style, so he's not doing it equitable, you know, he's just going around choosing what people willy nilly who all need help, which is equality. I, what I digress, without informing anyone of his platform that he effed, he needs to do that. He is just profiting off his ability to do so. And people just blew these people up, which is, like, I'm glad. You're, you're really going to trash someone for helping people get <laughs> being blind. And of course, you know, the serfs do it. And also, uh, one of the greatest, most powerful leftists, <laughs> I, greatest, I use that term loosely, Hassan also had something to say. Because again, it's about the system. You can't just celebrate somebody doing acts of goodness for the world. We have to talk about systems. We have to talk about capitalism. We have to talk about why, you know, why isn't this free for everyone? Because everything should be free. You watch this video, you go, oh, how, how cute and how nice. I watch the video and I'm filled with rage. That, What's like, wrong with you? That we shut off access to a 10 minute procedure because we paywalled it and decided that like some people just simply can't get it. It is so insanely frustrating That's that it true. like, it, it's up to like one YouTube guy to like decide to make content out of it that like the people who are too poor can't just fucking see. That's insane. Anyway, sorry. It's just like a deeply, deeply frustrating concept. You Again, which I love to see, because it's like, it's always these people, <laughs> these multimillionaire Twitch streamers and stuff like that, that are so easy to critique what's going on here, rather than just celebrating the moment. Celebrating the fact that a guy, a kid, a young man has decided, I'm gonna make the world a better place and offer free surgeries to people. No, he has to find the negativity in it. At least Mr. Beast, uh, comes back and says something. Twitter, rich people should help others with their money. Exactly. Me? Okay. I'll use my money to help people, and I promise to give away all my money before I die. Every single penny. Twitter, Mr. Beast is bad. I'm just gonna say this, <laughs> and I don't say this lightly. There are people in your life that will always see the negative side of literally everything that happens in your life or their life in general. And you can help these people sometimes, but sometimes you just need to cut them out of your life, like a bad tree that's rotting in your backyard. You need to just get rid of them. Because these are the type of people, when something good happens to you, they'll tell you five things of why it's negative and how it's gonna negatively affect you. Or they'll talk about the system, they'll talk about, you know, instead of just embracing the moment. Here's a rich guy who, like he says, in his tweet, I'm going to use my money to help people and I promise to give away all my money before I die. Every single penny. And everyone is mad because government isn't running healthcare. Because, and then if that is going to happen, then everyone's thing, surgeries will be free. I just, <laughs> you can't win with these people. I don't know why people watch these kind of streams. I just don't. Uh, why, why do, just shitting on everything, even the best thing about that, 
It's about capitalism and how capitalism has made LASIK affordable for people who have gotten cheaper and better without government regulations. Well, exactly. I think these people are like forgetting that with government regulations and government tape and stuff like the people I know that <laughs> go to the VA are veterans hate the hospital system in which they are forced to go to because it's government run and things are much slower than they so yeah maybe your your lasik eye surgery your you know your blindness might be cured but you might also be waiting for 20 years down the road because hey your number's not up or it's not an equitable uh, way in which we are approaching this it's insane Fun fact, Hassan Piker has tried to learn the first name of his DoorDash driver in hopes of making a first real friend. Didn't go well at all. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, why do people watch that guy? Like, I just don't get it. You're hating on this video? <laughs> what the fuck? And they'll be like, well, bro, well, you're missing the point. He's just saying. And it's like, you don't need to say this. And also, you don't even know if it's true. That's my favorite part. It's like with these with these people, these utopian views, like views that these people have. Well, if the government just runs it, everything will be smooth. Everything will be better. When is that ever the case? These people don't can't even balance a budget. And yet we're like, yeah, we'll let you be in charge of our bodies because in doing so, we'll make everything cheaper. Yes, you're going to die because you're going to be waiting for that heart transplant. But don't worry. Things are going to be better. It's free. Uh... Look at Canada, it does not work. Okay, I have friends in Canada that I, in my church small group where we have like prayed that he will be next in line to get a stent surgery that takes two seconds here. And it got to the point where he just drove down here and got it done and paid for it because he was waiting for so long. It's just like when the government makes it free, everything will just be running better. No, no. You know what's the best case scenario? A rich guy like this guy deciding, you know what, it's better to help people with my money than it is for me just to buy a mansion. Because what do I need a mansion for? What do I need all these cars for? I'd rather just spread the love. Because you know what it feels good? Giving people stuff. Especially giving people stuff that doesn't they don't necessarily deserve it. And it just feels good. That's why when you serve, you serve soup kitchens and stuff like that, it feels good to serve it makes you feel good on the inside it's not just helping other people you're helping yourself by giving out money that's what's so beautiful about what he does and that's why it's like so childlike and just wholesome and just good content and he's like the kind of content it's like he's okay for your children to watch kind of thing um that's not true government subsidized healthcare. oh they subsidize the crap out of it and that's why it makes it worse i know i again my entire family works in healthcare, and i <laughs> I will tell you also firsthand that they make it way harder in which you, for me to be able to see you as a patient and the, the tapes, the, I have to cross the lines. I have to cross the notes I have to fill out in order to do so. And I have to constantly advocate for me to be able to see you, even if you're on Medicaid, um, LASIK will probably under some Elective surgery, cosmetic, government won't cover. Yeah, well, that's another thing too, right? It's like this little surgery, the government would probably be like, you know what, we don't deem it as necessary or we don't have the uh, capacity to, <laughs> to push the surgery for all. The government is the most ineffective way for people to spend their money. <laughs> exactly. The government is a constant money pit. It's just like you... It's like a pyramid. It's like you can't throw enough money at this, <laughs> this, this problem and make things better. It's just not going to happen. And the people are just like, well, well you're just crazy. Uh, altruism is not good. Exactly. Um, subsidized healthcare is different. I am dirt poor and I have the government healthcare. It only covers emergencies and uh, one dental visit per year, one checkup per year. And, and that's another reason because people that work in healthcare, they don't want to work with people on governmental stuff because you don't get paid as much usually. And also the amount of tapes you have to cross in order to do so. I need to get like a camera. But again, if you have people in your life, they can't just celebrate beauty and, and awesomeness of giving away money in which to help people, but they find a way to critique it. Get those people out of your life. You can't help them. <laughs> they're just, they're just going to constantly bring you down. <laughs> like sometimes the best form of medicine for them is the cold, hard reality that they are being obnoxious. <laughs> God, I'm done. I'm just done with this point.